I'm just really proud of that group that, um, you know, in, in our first season to go, the excitement that built around that during the provisional status time, um, and having some of those players that um, got the extra year with COVID and, and wanted to stay around, so that, that year allowed them to be a part of that team. And so for them to, to stay here and be rewarded with such a great season, it was certainly something special. Um, you know, we, we want to build on each year here and for each group to leave it better than they found it. And I thought last year's group, that was a big step forward and to help us um, in our first year in Division Two. Coach, because of that success, the target seems to just keep growing bigger on UT Tyler softball's back, picked to, as the preseason favorites in the Lone Star Conference. For a second year in a row, you've won back-to-back -back Lone Star Conference regular season championships. Obviously, that this program has had success for a long time, but as you continue to establish yourself at the Division II level, what do you need to do differently moving forward or maybe better to keep that success going? Well, there's, you know, just the challenges of this conference and, and to win any conference back-to-back uh, -back years is it, tough to do. And then when it's the Lone Star Conference, um, that makes that task even, even more impressive. Um, you know, I, I think we have to grow and evolve because everyone in our conference is. And um, it's one of those leagues you have to play well every weekend. I think top to bottom the league has improved. So we have to continue to do the same thing. But I think that's something we're really proud of of the program over the span of, of the years that we've had it is to not become complacent and um, focus, focus on the process and improving year by year. And again, finding the program with this group of players. If you look at our success over the time we've had it, it's not any one pitcher, any one group of players. And so I think that we've got to continue that focus. And the players that are in charge of the team now uh, feel that responsibility to the past and, and I think we we'll just you know continue with that and understand we're going forward but continue to work hard you cannot take a break in the Lone Star Conference that is for sure. Moving forward into 2023 if there were some headlines for the team it would certainly be some experience lost uh, whether you talk about Ashley Perez, Mac Dominguez, Bailey Simone, Shannon Klaus and others that played a lot of games through this program but there's a lot of talent coming back maybe some uh, unproven or just limited action talent, but talent. What has been the focus over the offseason to make sure that talent that's returning is ready to go alongside some very important returners as well? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like you said, it's a really good mix. We're almost 50-50 new and new returners. And I think for that, we did we did lose a big group. But I think, again, going back to the success that we've talked about our program has had, um, you know, if you're recruiting well every year when you get to senior day or the end of the season, you're upset and sad because you're losing – People have made major contributions to your program. But I think, you know, along with uh, the names that we know coming back, the Tatum Goff, Courtney Plochek, those people have done well. There's also people that were um, waiting and developing already on the roster that were just behind some of those five and six year kids that, that we mentioned that were more than ready for their opportunity. And now to see them through the fall, to get those opportunities for, for everyday reps to become. Um, the one that we're looking at, you can see their confidence grow with the opportunity. So that's probably been the most fun to see is, is for them to um, get those increased opportunities. And every day, the Audrey Escamillas, you know, that's, that's behind and Ashley Perez, that, that got a bats for us last year, I'd see our confidence grow. Um, Michelle Arias, who, who played a lot last year for us. But to, to, to move up to that next category, I think that's been a big part. And then to go along with some of the new faces that – we're going to need them to come in and, and fill some gaps and fill some of those responsibilities that, that we lost, not only on the field in a statistical standpoint, but also in the leadership part of that to, to help be in charge of making sure our motivation, make sure our practice, make sure we're staying uh, true to the process that has gotten us to success if you look up. So there's a lot of growth not only on the field that comes with that, but growth in the leadership void that was left and, and find their way to make sure that the process is being and the standards being held. Coach, you mentioned it earlier, the Lone Star Conference is going to be loaded with talent. Once again, a lot of returning faces across some of the top teams in the league. It's going to make for a long spring, and, and it gets started a little over a week away. What do you need to do early in the season to make sure success and winning softball continues throughout what is going to be a difficult and new Lone Star Conference schedule with three-game series? Well, for sure, and I think yeah, if you look across the board, um, there was not a lot of graduation. You know, I think us and, and maybe a couple other teams lost the most in graduation. So the league will definitely be tough. Um, I think what we've got to do, kind of piggyback those new players that we talked about in those new roles, 
um, get them tested, get them game experience. Um, we try to, we've given them the reps and we're continuing to get them ready in practice, but you can, some things can only be tested in games. And so we, we have put together a schedule. I'm not sure who's in charge of putting together such a tough schedule, um, but to open up the weekend with, with Augustana, UCO, two of the top teams in the RMAC um, and, and the GAC. I mean, we, we put together a very tough schedule um, that will get them the, the test and, and the reps under fire that we needed. We're playing a very tough schedule. Could be up to 20 teams in the top 25 on that schedule um, with a trip out to Miami to, to play two tough teams there. So um, we're not short on, on challenges, but I think that's what we're going to need because the Lone Star represents that every weekend, like you said. Coach? All of that gets started a little over a week away at the Division II Spring Invitational Kickoff in Conroe, Texas. You will start next Friday against Regis. Like you said, the uh, slate of difficult teams is, is there in Conroe. You'll take on Augustana, Central Oklahoma, Metro State, and Arkansas Tech throughout the weekend. Best of luck. Looking forward to another great spring of Patriot softball.